The Nintendo Switch 2 is expected to be officially announced in just a few months. Since our last update, a number of new leaks have surfaced, providing us with a clearer picture of what to expect from this upcoming console. There are five major changes worth noting. The Joy-Cons for the Switch 2 are said to be getting a significant redesign. They will reportedly be larger and include an extra remappable button on the back, along with an additional button on the front of the right Joy-Con, positioned just below the home button. A sturdier mounting mechanism is also expected, which will utilize electromagnetic suction to attach the Joy-Cons, and the SL and SR buttons will be made of metal. These changes mean that the current Joy-Cons won't be compatible with the Switch 2 in handheld mode, though they will still work via Bluetooth, allowing you to use them for multiplayer games. Interestingly, Nintendo recently released a new accessory for the current Switch, enabling Joy-Cons to be charged outside of the console. This seems oddly timed, especially so close to the expected launch of the Switch 2. It's likely this accessory is aimed at Switch 2 buyers who want a cost-effective option for couch co-op play using their existing Joy-Cons. The Switch 2 is expected to feature an 8-inch LCD panel, an upgrade from the current 7-inch 720p display on the Switch OLED. Although this new screen will still be an LCD rather than OLED, it will offer a 1080p resolution. The pixel density will also improve, rising from 209 pp1 to 275 pp1, which should result in a noticeably sharper display, especially compared to the original Switch's 236 ppi. Performance is set to be a key upgrade with the Switch 2, which is rumored to be powered by the new NVIDIA Tegra T239 chip, featuring up to 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB of UFS 3.1 storage. This would give it around 4 teraflops of FP32 compute power, bringing it close to the performance of the Xbox Series S and PS4 Pro. Additionally, DLSS support is expected, which neither the PS4 Pro nor Xbox Series S offer. While this means the Switch 2 will be far more powerful than its predecessor, battery life remains a concern. The Switch 2 will reportedly run at just 5 watts in handheld mode, which could limit performance compared to the Steam Deck. However, when docked, the console's power draw could increase to 15 to 30 watts, enabling 4K output thanks to DLSS. Notably, the Switch 2 is said to forego a built-in fan in handheld mode, likely to extend battery life. With the improved performance, we can expect to see more AAA titles make their way to the Switch 2. Activision Blizzard has already hinted at developing games for the platform, and there are strong indications that Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed Shadows, and other popular games will be available. Backwards, compatibility with Switch 1 titles is also expected, with the ability to run existing games at higher settings, possibly in 4K and 60fps. Ray tracing support is also rumored to be included for some games. As with each new Nintendo console, the Switch 2 is expected to feature a redesigned user interface. While a recent leak showed a UI resembling that of the PS5, which raised some skepticism, a new UI is almost certainly in the works. Hopefully, it will include features like the ability to change wallpapers, something that's been missing from the current Switch UI. The Switch 2's release has reportedly been pushed from late 2024 to early 2025, with Nintendo stating that the announcement will happen before the end of their fiscal year in March 20th, 25. A February or March announcement seems likely. As for the price, nothing is confirmed. But given the upgrades, it's expected to be more expensive than the original Switch, which Nintendo might continue to sell even after the Switch 2's launch. What do you think about these changes to the Switch 2? Let us know your thoughts.